Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today What I'm going to be bringing you is a Bradford City versus Mansfield Town match vlog If you do go on to enjoy today's video Please make sure to drop a like on there for me If you could try and hit 150 likes on today's video That would be massively appreciated Subscribe if you are new as well We are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers So please make sure you are subscribed If you haven't already with that post notification bell on It's free to do so and it does massively help out Get your thoughts on today's game as well Down in the comment section down below It's going to be a very very tough game this one Obviously we beat them 2-1 in the reverse fixture Mighty Platt again sent off Then we had half an hour to play with 10 men Plus like over 10 minutes of additional time It's an absolutely crazy game this season. It always seems to be lots of goals in this fixture as well. The last time we actually played Mansfield at home, it was Mike Hughes' first game in charge. They beat us 2-0. I'm not confident really going into today's game. I'm going to go with a 2-1 defeat today. I'm going to go with Matt Derbyshire to score for Bradford City. Then I'm going to go with Keeler Dunn and Will Swan to get the goals for Mansfield. I've been very impressed with some of their January business. Arguably had one of the best windows in League 2. I know obviously they lost George Lapsley and Ollie Hawkins, but I think they're more than replaced them with the signs of Alfie Kilgore. Like I say, Keeler Dunn as well. He plays kind of off the strike in a similar role as George Absolutely. They've got a very, very good squad though. Should hopefully it be a decent atmosphere today. I think Mansfield have sold both the Midland Road and the TR Dallas, so they're very close to selling out. I think there's going to be over 18,000 there in total for today's game. So it's going to be a very tough one. Make sure you drop a like on today's video. Subscribe if you are new as well. And I shall see you all down at Valley Parade. Here we have it then, here's how we line up for today's game at home to Mansfield Town. Three changes, I think, from the last game. No Richie Smallwood in the matchday squad. Alex Gilead is the captain today. Andy Cook, Jamie Walker and Ryan East all coming. It still looks like a four-diamond two to me, but I think it's a very strong team. I think we should be able to at least put up some sort of a fight today. I've had a look at the Mansfield squad as well. It's very strong. Their bench is absolutely stacked, so fingers crossed we can get three points and fingers crossed Andy Cook can get back on the score sheet. Still it, just under half an hour till kick off. Mansfield fans in five points. What's your name? Fair play. And how old are you? Ten years old. It's a brilliant turnout for the Mansfield fans. We don't often get many sellouts, and they're pretty close to being sold out. Fair play to all those that have travelled. Let's hope for three points. Andy Cook broke his nose 10 days ago and he's not playing with a face mask on. That's certainly uh, an interesting decision. That 
man's been on the bench for how many games? That man scores goals. That is just what he does, and he cut. It's completely deserved. We've absolutely battered him. A great volume from playing as well. Um, he won loan at Walsall and he scored loads of goals at Walsall. So that's why they recalled him. Switch 
switched off well, again. We've got time to get the winner. Completely switched off again. So frustrating. How many goals are we going to concede at home when we've been winning? It's so, so poor. Here we go. Oh, ball in. Oh, Johnson's in there. Oh, bloody hell, what is that? That's a Keeler done again. Good tackle. Black just hands it. Oh, I've got some guy here. Go on, Andy. Hands it up. Come on, Andy, they're coming up here. Referee. He's been fouled about three times. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell you what, I'm really frustrated that I'm probably going to blow the draw here, but this referee today, overall, has been very good. Back into playoffs. As devastated and gutted as I am after that, I think the overall feeling is, well, we all knew it was going to happen. How many times this season have we conceded in injury time? Genuinely, is it, what, five, six, seven times? Every, it feels like every other week we're conceding in injury time at this moment in time. It's so, so frustrating. We've played so well today, completely controlled the game. Second half, we got a little bit tired and, you know, Mansfield grew into the game, but that's kind of expected. We had so many chances to kill the game. That Aboisa chance in the first half, brilliant save from Scott Flinders. Then Andy Cook on the half volley, and again, another great save from Scott Flinders. Andy Cook again had another chance in the second half. I don't know how on earth he saved that one. He's he like stepped to dive one way, somehow manages to bend back and save the shot. I've no idea how managed to do that. Credit to Mansfield though, they did have their chances, you know, Alfie Kilgore hit the crossbar in the second half, Harry Lewis pulled off a brilliant save in the first half as well, obviously. Um, Taiji Bowler cleared one off the line and overall, if that game finishes 4-3 to us, I don't think anyone has any complaints, but it's still so frustrating because that should have been three points today. We've done enough, we've played well enough. I think everyone was at least a 7 out of 10. Maybe Issa was probably a 6.5, but I, I just, it's just so frustrating that we've played so well and we've still only come away from it with a draw. Next week it doesn't get any easier away to Stevenage where, I mean, we kind of need to win at this moment in time. I think we've dropped down a position again. I think we're down to ninth in the table at this moment in time and we've not got many games left, you know what I mean? Like, we're, we're into the running now. The time is running out. We're into February. We can't just keep saying, well, the team's going to do it at some point because we're constantly throwing points away and it's so frustrating because we've played so well today. And I'm just, I'm just so frustrated. But credit to Mansfield, you know, they are a good side. That's what good sides do with experience and all that sort of stuff. They've gone to the end and they've got the goal, which, I mean, I've no idea what we're doing with that. How he's got a free header at the back post in the 91st minute is absolutely criminal. We lack that experience on off the bench. I don't know why Dab she didn't come on instead of Issa. I don't really know why we changed formation. I thought we missed Songo today. He's perfect to come on for the last 10 minutes to see a game out. He can fill in at centre half or even in midfield. And we didn't have that today. We looked really flat in midfield when we changed formation. I thought Chapman off the bench were absolutely terrible he has a brilliant chance to play it through to nevers and just keeps dribbling and dribbling and then eventually waits until he's marked to try and play the pass and it gets blocked but it was really really poor from chapman i thought Issa should have come off in my opinion ryan east had a brilliant game gilead was fantastic adam clayton as well in the midfield was absolutely brilliant today Tladji bowler if we see more performances like that than what we saw in the one against stockport then i have nothing no complaints i thought he was very good today as well but overall very disappointed credit to the mansfield fans though and you know when they scored it was absolutely carnage for the last 10 minutes in that away but thank you very much for watching today's video if you have enjoyed watching please make sure to drop a like on there for me if you could try and hit 150 likes as i said at the start of today's video that'd be absolutely class subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on it's free to do so and it does massively help out get your thoughts on today's draw as well down in the comment section down below our third draw in a row what are your thoughts let me know down below thank you for watching have a good rest of your day and i shall see you all next week for steven and away peace